sin, of the word have mercy on us. Lord, have you mercy. You take away the sin of the world. Of the world. Receive in our prayer. You who sin, Lord, have mercy. For you are a merciful God who loves mankind. And to you do we ascribe glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy. To the glory of God, Lord, have mercy. Every day will I bless you. Grant this, O Lord. I will praise your name forever. Grant this, O Lord. To the ages of ages. Grant this, O Lord. Grant us worthy, Lord, a blessing. Grant this, O Lord. Blessed are you, O Lord, God Grant this, of the Lord. fathers. Your name is praise and glorified forever. For you are the God of mercy and love for mankind, and you we glorify Father, Son, and Holy Spirit now and ever into the ages of ages. Peace be with you, O Edini Basi. Blessed are you, O Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Blessed are you. O Holy God, you dwell in high, you watch over the things below. You all bow our soul and bodies, and you we pray, O Holy of Holies. Extend your invisible hand from your holy dwelling place and bless us all. If we have sinned willingly or unwillingly, forgive us, you good and loving God, granting us your worldly and heavenly blessings. For you are God, for mercy and save us, and you we give glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever. The age of ages, amen. one generation to the next, I cry out. Lord, have mercy on me. Heal my Bless soul. God always, now and ever, into the ages of ages. I run to you, O Lord. Glory to your God, our whole glory to you. May Christ show true God, who rose from the dead, a good, loving, and merciful God. Have mercy on us and save us. Through the intercession of his most pure and holy mother, the power of the precious and life giving cross, the protection of the honorable by his parents of heaven, the supplication of the honorable glorious prophet and foreigner John the Baptist, the holy glorious and praise of the apostles, of Saint Mark the Evangelist, and of Saint Bains of the great Archbishop of Sicily, whose liturgy we celebrate today. To the prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God of mercy, and save us. Amen. Sunday of Lent, the church sets before us the cross of Christ to give us inspiration, strength to continue on on the 40-day Lenten period. For those of you who are here, we give thanks to you. For those of you who are watching online, we give thanks to you. If you'd like to light a candle, you can go to stmarkboca.net in the upper right-hand corner, click on light a candle. John and Helen and Gerard are here ready to light your candle for you. 
For those of us who are here now, let us enter into our Lord's kingdom and ask him to send down his Holy Spirit upon us. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace from above, for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace of the whole world, for the stability of the holy churches of God, for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house, for those who enter at faith, reverence in the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For pious and orthodox Christians, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Archbishop Alexios, the Honorable Presbyter of the Diaconate in Christ, and for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our country, for the present, for all in public service, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this city, for every city and land, for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For favorable weather, the abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and distress, and from the peril of coronavirus against us, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our brethren, those who lead the fight against the coronavirus, the doctors, the medical workers, and scientists, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, Lord God, is power and have mercy. Come, Mary, most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious, let us Theotokos and have a Virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. To you, O Lord. Lord, to you belong all glory, honor, and worship to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. O Lord, the light of your face was stamped upon us. You gave a sign to those who fear you, so they may flee from the face of the bow. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, Savior, save us. You ascended on high, you led captivity captive. Yes, 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 Theotokos, such as us, so be mine. Save your people and bless your inheritance, protect the whole body of your church. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Come, Mary, most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious, lead us, Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life unto Christ our God. Yours is dominion, the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. All the ends of the earth saw salvation of our God. Salon da si, alleluia. 
Let us worship at the place where his foot stood. Save us, O Son of God, who rose from the dead. Save us who sing to you. Alleluia. God is our King before the ages. He worked salvation in the midst of the earth. So, so he was the Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon Lord, us, and protect us, O God, by your, your grace. Lord, have mercy. Come, ever most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious, let us Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life unto Christ our God. and loving God, and to you we give glory, to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. the ages of ages, amen. Save the Lord your people and bless your Yeah. 
Logos and his perilous minds, O holy Apostle, you is my witness of the heavens recorded, for all of us the Savior most divinely does Beautiful contagion for the Virgin Mary, Tiper Majo, mighty defender and commander. I, your city, sing hymns of thanksgiving for the victory ascribed to you. From all terrors have you rescued me, O Theotokos. I entreat you, for your power is invincible. From all dangers that may threaten me, deliver me, that I may cry out to you, rejoice, O unwedded bride. Deep and hard, strong, Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, O Holy God, you dwell among your saints. Amen.
be attentive. O Lord, save your people and bless your inheritance. To you, O Lord, I have cried, O my God. Wisdom. The reading is from St. Paul's letter to the Hebrews. Let us be attentive. Brethren, since we have a high priest who has passed through the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast our confession. For we have not a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses, but one who in every respect has been tempted as we are, yet without sin. Let us then with confidence draw near to the throne of grace, that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in the time of need. For every high priest chosen from among men is appointed to act on behalf of men in relation to God, to offer gifts and sacrifices for sins. He can deal gently with the ignorant and the wayward, since he himself is beset with weakness. Because of this, he is bound to offer sacrifice for his own sins, as well as those for other people. And one does not take the honor upon himself, but he is called by God, just as Aaron was. So also, Christ did not exalt himself to be made a high priest, but he was appointed by him who said, Thou art my son, today I have begotten thee. As he says also in another place, Thou art a priest forever, after the order of Melchizedek. Proskomen. So son Kyrie et laon su kevlo isan ting lironomian su prose Kyrie ke kraxome o Theos mu mi parasiopisis ape mu Sofia prose Vreus epistolis Pavlou to anagnosma proskome Adelphi echon desierean megan dialelithota tu suranus Ιησούν τον Υιόν του Θεού, κρατώμεν της ομολογίας. Ούγαρ έχομεν ιερέα μη δυνάμενον συμπαθήσετε σ' ασθενείες ημών, πεπειρασμένον δε κατά πάντα καθομοιότητα χωρίς αμαρτίας. Προσερχόμεθα ούν με τα παρησία στο θρόνο της χάριτος, ή να λάβομεν έλεον και χάριν εύρωμεν εις εύκαιρον βοήθιαν. Παρ γάρα χιερεύς, εξ ανθρώπων λαμβανόμενος υπερ ανθρώπων καθίσταται τα προς τον Θεόν ή να προσφέρει δώρατε και θυσία υπέρ αμαρτιών, με τριοπαθήν δυνάμενος, της αγνοούσι και πλανωμένης, επί και αυτός περίκειται ασθένιαν. Και δια ταύτην οφείλει, καθώς περί του λαού, ούτω και περί εαυτού προσφέρειν υπέρ αμαρτιών, ούτω και ο Χριστός, Ούχε αυτόν εδόξα σε γεννηθήνε αρχιερέα, αλλολαλή σα προ αυτόν. Ιό μου ήσυ, εγώ σήμερα για γενικά σε, καθώ και νετέρο λέγει, Σιερεύ ει τον αιώνα κατά την τάξη μελχή σε δε. Open the eyes of our mind that we may comprehend the message of your gospel and still in us also reverence for your blessed commandments so that having conquered sinful desires may we pursue a spiritual life thinking and doing all those things that are pleasing to you. For you, O Christ, our God, the light of our souls and bodies and you will give glory to the eternal Father and your all holy, good and life-giving spirit now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Wisdom arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with you all. And with your spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Let us be attentive. No. Lord said, if any man come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whoever would save this life will lose it, and whoever loses his life for my sake and the gospels will save it. 
For what does it profit a man to gain the whole world and forfeit his life? For what can a man give in return for his life? For whoever is ashamed of me and of my words and this adulterous and sinful generation, of him will the Son of Man also be ashamed when he comes in the glory of his Father and with the holy angels. And he said to them, Truly I say to you, there are some standing here who will not taste death before they see the kingdom of God has come with power. Peace be with you, proclaims the gospel. Όπως υπό το κράτος σου πάντοτε φυλατώμενοι Σύνδοξαν να πέμπομεν το Πατρί και του Υιό και του Αγίου Πνεύμα την ίν και αΐ και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. Immeasurable love for us, you became man without duration or change. You have served as a high priest and as Lord of all entrusted to us the celebration of this liturgical sacrifice without the shedding of blood. For you alone, Lord our God, rule over all things in heaven and on earth. You are seated on the throne of the cherub and the Lord of the seraph and the King of Israel. You alone are holy and dwell among your saints. You alone are good and ready to hear. Therefore, I implore you, look upon me, your sinful and unworthy servant, and cleanse my soul and heart from an evil conscience. Enable me by the power of your Holy Spirit, so invested with the grace of priesthood, I may stand before your holy table and celebrate the mystery of your holy and pure body and your precious blood. But you had come about, head of praise, but not turn your face away from me, nor reject me from the children, but rather make me your sinful and unworthy servant, worthy to offer to these gifts. For you, O Christ, our God, will be offered the offer. The one who received the tribute to you, give glory to the eternal Father. In your all holy, good, and life giving spirit, now and ever, into the ages of ages, amen. We who mystically, we who mystically represent the cherubim and sing the thrice holy hymn for the life giving tribute. We who mystically the cherubim and thrice holy hymn, I be trinity with the design of all the cares of music, the king of all. Having beheld the resurrection of Christ, let us worship the Holy Lord Jesus, the only sinless one. We venerate your cross, O Christ, and we praise and glorify your holy resurrection. You are our God, and we know our Lord. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin, for I know my transgressions and my sin is ever the holy resurrection. Yet you only have I sinned and done evil in your sight, that you are justified in your sentence, and away from sin judge me. Behold, I was brought forth in iniquity and sin on earth. Behold, I desire to save me with being therefore teach me wisdom in my sacred heart. Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Fill my heart with joy and gladness. Let the bones that you have broken rejoice. Hide your face away from my sins and blot it out my iniquities. Create me a clean heart, O God, and put a new right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence. Take not your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation. Uphold me the willing spirit. Then they shall teach transgressors your ways, and sinners shall return to you. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, the God of my salvation, and my tongue will sing aloud of your deliverance. For you would no delight in sacrifice, were I to give up an offering, you would not be pleased. A sacrifice acceptable, God, is a broken spirit. A broken and contrite heart, O God, you will not despise. Do good, O Lord, you your pleasure to Zion. Let the walls of Jerusalem be built. Then they shall put books upon your altar, and have mercy upon me, O God.
Pistios e flavias que fogo theu is the under and after to give you the thomen. I per to restine imos abo pasis lipsos or gis kindinu ke anonis to give you the thomen. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. 
That the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless. Let us ask the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For forgiveness and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For all that is good and beneficial to our souls, and for peace in the world, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For the completion of our lives in peace and repentance, let us ask the Lord. Come, memory most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady of Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life unto Christ our God. To you, o Lord. Through the mercies of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life creating Spirit. Now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us love one another with one mind we may confess. One of the joys of the Orthodox Church is when we bring in new members, when we actually work with people who for many, and often a long amount of time, six months to a year, taking our classes, making them catechumens as they come into the life and the presence of the church. And now today, we are blessed to have a beautiful, faithful person, Denise, with her fiance Tom, as well as her sponsors, Christine and Gerald Baldino, who will come forward as we welcome Denise into the life of the Orthodox Church. It's indeed a blessing. We do so right before the creed, and then together with their sponsors, they lead the creed, and we all jump in, as we say. You can all have the correct translation of the creed that we use in your little inserts that are in front of you, and you can follow along. On one side is the creed. On the other side is the prayers before Holy Communion so that we can recite all together. Today, Denise takes on the beautiful name, Dionysia, which is of Saint Dionysios of Zakynthos, and he's indeed a beautiful saint of our church, and we welcome them, her, into this beautiful. So let us all pray. O oh, blessed are you, O Christ our God, you who made all wise the fishermen, your apostles, sending down upon them your spirit, which is holy, and through their work, drawing the world into your net. Glory to you, who loves mankind. Just that, today. Today I, by the grace of God, and my own will free, having received proper instructions from the seal of the the Holy Spirit, from the, from the faith and the orthodox faith, and confess before God, and then together reciting the creed. We'll do it all together. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible. And in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not created, of one essence with the Father, through whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from the heaven 
and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried. And he rose on the third day according to the scriptures. And he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again with glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom will have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the creator of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshiped and glorified, who spoke to the prophets. In one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age. So repeat after me each verse, okay? I further confess and accept the teachings and traditions of the Orthodox Church through which I seek to be made worthy for which I seek to be made worthy of becoming a faithful servant of becoming a faithful servant of the Lord of the Lord by keeping his commandments by keeping his commandments and being pleasing to him in all things and being pleasing to him in all things this I ask this I ask through the grace through the grace and love of our Lord and the love of our Lord to whom is due all glory to whom is due all glory and power and power amen amen The servant of God. Dionysia is tonsured in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. As we anoint Dionysia, we say the words, the seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit, and we all respond, Amen. The seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. O Lord our God, you made your servant the Onesia, Denise, worthy to seek spiritual perfection through the Orthodox faith and to receive the seal of Holy Chrism. Lord of all, preserve her in her faith in you and grant her to grow in righteousness and adorn her with a fully all the things of every grace. For you bless and sanctify all things and you we glorify Father, Son, and Holy Spirit now and ever and to the ages of ages. We congratulate the Onisia. It's been a beautiful long journey, and it's a blessing to be here, standing in the midst of the congregation. Stormen kalos, stormen metafovu pros komen. Let us stand well, let us stand in awe, let us be attentive that we may offer the holy gifts in peace. Mercy and peace, a sacrifice of prayer. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us comment us, God, be us. Let us lift up our hearts. We lift them all up to the Lord. Ef God is still so meant to give you, let us give thanks to the Lord. praised by the angels, archangels, thrones, dominions, principalities, authorities, powers, and the many-eyed cherubim. Round about you the stand of the seraphim, one with six wings, the other with six wings, with two they cover their faces, with two they cover their feet, with two they fly, crying to one another with unceasing voices and ever-resounding praises, singing the victory hymn, proclaiming, crying out, and saying, <laughs> Sabbath, 
He sat at the right hand of your majesty on high and he will come to render each according to his works. As memorials of his saving passion, he has left us these gifts which we have set forth before you according to his commands. For when he was about to go forth to his voluntary, ever memorable and life-giving death on the night on which he was delivered up for the life of the world, he took bread in his holy, pure and blameless hands he gave to you. God and Father, offering thanks, blessing and sanctifying and breaking it. He gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you, for the forgiveness of sins. Lavete, fayete, tutmo estito soma, to hiperimon clomenon isafes in amartion. Likewise, he took the cup of the fruit of the vine, and having mingled it, offering thanks, blessing, and sanctifying it, he gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Drink of this, all of you, this is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Pitex of tu pandas, tu tu esti tu emamu, tu tis genis via thikis, tu hiperimon ke pulon e chinomenon is apesin amartion. Amen. God and Father in a second and glory is coming again. Toi saik ton son, si prospero men, kata panda ke dia panda. We offer to you these gifts from your own gifts in all and for all. We pray to you, O Holy of Holies, and we call upon your name that by your favor of goodness, your Holy Spirit may come upon us and upon the gifts you're presented to bless, sanctify, and make. Father, bless the this Holy Bread. This bread to be the precious body of our Lord, God, and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Father, bless the Holy Cup. And this cup to be the precious blood of our Lord, God, and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Father, bless both Shed holy gifts. for the life and the salvation of the world. Amen. 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 And unite us all to one another, become partakers of the one bread and the cup and the communion of the one Holy Spirit. Grant that none of us may partake of the holy body and blood of your Christ in judgment or condemnation but that we may find mercy and grace with the saints who have leaded by the ages. Forefathers, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, priests, and martyrs, confessors, every teacher of every spirit, every brother, and every faith. Παναγίας αχράντου υπερευλογημένης εν δόξου δεσποίνης ημών Θεοτόκου και περθένου Μαρίας Αρτέμιδος Γιάννη Αθανάσιος Σάκρατης ο Πρίστ Καλάδομος Γιόρτζ Ριάτ Σάρα Νίκολας και Άννα Τζάν Τζάν
liturgy of St. Basil during Lent is such a beautiful liturgy. It has prayers that we don't hear any other time except when we celebrate this liturgy. And I remember distinctively at seminary, one of our professors saying, if you want to know the work of the church, listen to these prayers. Fill their treasuries with every good thing. Preserve their marriages in peace, in harmony. Nurture the infants. Instruct the youth. Strengthen the age. Give courage to the faint-hearted. Reunite those separated. Bring back those in error and unite them to your holy Catholic and apostolic church. Free those who are held captive by unclean spirits. Sail with those who sail. Travel with those who travel. Defend the widows. Protect the orphans. Liberate the captives. Heal the sick. That is the role of the church, the body of Christ on earth. For you, O Lord, are the helper of the helpless, the hope of the hopeless, the savior of the afflicted, the haven of the voyager, and the physician of the sick. Be all things to all people, you who know each person, his requests, his household, and his need. Deliver this parish and city, O Lord, in every city and country from famine, plague, earthquake, hurricane, flood, fire, sword, invasion of foreign enemies, and civil war. Above all, all, remember, Lord, Lord Archbishop Alexios, grant that he may serve your holy churches in peace. Keep, keep him safe, honorable, and healthy for many years, rightly teaching the word of your truth. And remember those of each of us calls the mind, and all your people. And all your people. Remember, O Lord, this city in which we live. We pray, O Lord, for those who are suffering throughout the world. We pray, O Lord, for peace in the Ukraine. We pray, O Lord, for the softening of the hearts of the aggressors. We pray, O Lord, for Eleni, Ron, Lubov, Kay, Steve, Danis, Gus, George, Sergio, Rita, Jason, Gina, Howard, Theodora, Penelope, Tina, Christos, Peter, Michael, Maria, Natalie, Chris, Emmanuel, Helen, Leanna, Peter, Michael, Anna, Mary, Nicoleos, Prudence, Dimitris, Christina, Athanasios, Joanne, Margarita, Chris, Fran, and George, for those who are incarcerated and for those who are homebound that cannot make it to church. And grant that with one voice and one heart we may glorify and praise your most honored and majestic name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. The mercy of our great God and Savior <coughs> Jesus Christ be with all of you. And with your spirit. I greet you with much love and joy in the Lord. As you can see, the interior of our church is coming to a close, which is so magnificent and beautiful. However, our iconographer will return back for touch-ups in April so that by Pascha we're completely done. So if you see little things, let me know. Um, Next Sunday at St. Mark, we will make over 15,000 meals and we will host feeding families everywhere in the fellowship hall after liturgy. We need help from everyone. We need over 100 volunteers to come from the oldest to the youngest. So please sign up in the email blast. If you don't get the email blast, speak to Gerard or Jim Dovis or John Katsupis and they'll do their best to help you get signed up. Frank Rikis is leading the way, who just happens to be standing right here. He'll be leading it, but in the email blast, please sign up. There's a sign up genius. 15,000 meals that will go to Boca Helping Hands, and it's gonna be to a local charity. It's indeed a blessing. In the hall today, you'll have an opportunity if you'd like. We always struggle at Pasca, at the Anastasi. How do we get the light home? Our Goya, every few years, does a Goya lantern opportunity and outreach. So if you'd like to, you can get one of those lanterns and purchase it today. It supports the Goyans going to summer camp. And it's indeed a blessing. You can take the light home with you that will shine. Speaking of summer camp, our Philoptikos, in their great love and outpouring of love, decided that they wanted to do the Palm Sunday banquet here at our church after church in a few weeks on Palm Sunday. They're limiting it to only 250 people. You can start buying tickets there, but the reason I say that, all of the proceeds will go and benefit our young people going to summer camp, which is indeed such a blessing that our Philoptikos decided to do this. And while you're in the hall, you can, if you'd like, sign up for the golf tournament. 
It's the week after Easter. We're going to be celebrating our 40th year, although it's 41, but due to COVID, we're making it our 40th year. And we're going to have a beautiful free barbecue the night before, the Friday after Easter, and then that Saturday, a golf tournament. We need golfers. We also need sponsors. So please, we are trying to get 36 whole sponsorships. So if you have a business or just out of your love, you want to do it and put your name or for the glory of God, please see Charlie, Zacharias, or John Boitilla in the hall today. Each Sunday in Lent, we do a Lenten outreach. We give an opportunity for our faithful. We're called to pray, to fast, and to give alms. All three of those are imperative for our Lenten journey. During, at St. Mark, we always give an opportunity for the five Sundays for a communal Lenten outreach. Today, we are doing this Lenten outreach for a family that's nearby. They are Kumbadi with Chris McKay and Phil McKay, and they're very dear people. Nico and Maria, I sent it out in the email blast, and I want to tell you, Maria and Nico are local Greek Orthodox who are very faithful in their faith. When their grandchildren needed a place to live, they took on these three children into their own home. Imagine at 60, 65 years old, taking three children on. Not an easy task. They did so with love. They did so with faith. They did so offering them this opportunity, working extra jobs. Nico at Publix and Maria working as a tailor in a, in a dry cleaning shop. About six weeks ago, Maria, about eight weeks ago, she was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer and she passed within five weeks. A very, very sad. Nico has been forced to take lesser shifts at Publix so that he can help support the family. So today, the three young children that Nico is a beautiful mind, a beautiful soul that he supports, we're going to be taking that collection that will all go directly for him. We've already see, received a beautiful amount of tributes and from the email blast, people dropped off checks. You can write your check to St. Mark and put in the memo, Nico and Maria, or Nico, I should say, Maria, God rest her soul, passed away. By doing so, we're able to help families who are less fortunate. By doing so, we can help Nico keep his children with him because they wanted to send them with the state, but he fought for it so that he can take them on with Maria when she was alive. A beautiful outpouring of love. So please, my brothers and sisters in Christ, let us all give generously. It's so easy to get caught up in our own lives that we forget about those people who are suffering. And Nico Maria is a perfect example that we can help right here in South Florida. May God bless us. May he has mercy upon them always. Today, before communion, because we want our Sunday church school to have the opportunity to stay in church, we will be doing the procession, the solemn, quiet procession around the church. You'll have the opportunity to kneel and you'll heal a commentary from Father Alexander. And we will process because we have pieces of the true cross of Christ and two of our crosses here at St. Mark. And you'll, we'll process the piece of the true cross of Christ. And at the end of liturgy, you'll be able to come up and to venerate that cross for the healing of soul and body, to give us strength during this difficult time. And finally, I'll just announce that we now, with the scaffolding down, with COVID long gone, we pray, we are now able to return full force to church. So in the morning authoros, we bring out the gospel for veneration. During, after communion, you can come up and andidaron will be there. At the end of liturgy, you can take, typically you'll come up for andidaron, but now, of course, because we have the cross, the andidaron will be in the back of the church in the exonarthex. May God bless us, may he inspire us, and may his Holy Spirit come upon Nico and those three beautiful children. Amen. Having commemorated all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the precious gifts here presented and consecrated, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That our God who loves mankind, having accepted that as holy, celestial, mystical altar, as an offering of spiritual fragrance, may in return send down upon us the divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. 
Having asked for the unity of faith and for the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life unto Christ our God. και κατεξίωσον ημάς δέσποτα με τα παρησίας ακατακρίτως τολμάν επικαλείστε σε τον επουράνιον Θεόν Πατέρα και λέγειν Πάτε λοιπόν ο εν της ουρανής αιαστείτε το όνομά σου ελθέτω η βασιλεία σου γεννηθείτε το θέλημά σου ως εν ουρανό και επί της γης τον άρτον ημών των επιούσιων δώσε μην σήμερα και άφησε μην τα οφείλματα ημών ως και εμείς αφίεμεν σφαλέτης ημών και εμείς εν έγιση ημάς εις φυρασμών αλλά λύσε ημάς από το πόνο ημού Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and glory of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. to the Lord. To you, Lord. By the grace, mercy, and love for us of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and forever and to the ages <laughs> of ages. Be attentive, proscomend. Desire the holy gift for the holy people of God. The Lamb of God is broken and distributed, broken, you're not divided forever, and you never consume. Sanctify those who partake of them. Jesus Christos, Nika, the cup is filled with the faith in the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 I would like to read excerpts from today's Matins or Orthro Synaxarion. The Synaxarion describes the significance of the feast of the day. And I quote Today, the third Sunday of Lent, we venerate the honorable and life giving cross of our Lord Jesus Christ. The 40 days of Lenten fasting is a long and strenuous journey, and we get tired on the way. Today, in the middle of Lent, a beautiful tree appears before us with many leaves. We sit under its shadow and rest for a while, and after being rejuvenated, we continue with courage and strength on our spiritual journey to Holy Week and Easter. The 40 days of Lenten fasting is a long and strenuous journey. 
The cross is called the tree of life. It is a tree that was planted in paradise. The church fathers have planted this tree in the middle of Lent to remind us that by Adam's sin, we lost the original bliss of paradise. We were cast out. Because of his disobedience, he was deprived of eternal life. By a tree that is the cross, we no longer die, but we receive eternal life once again through Jesus Christ, our Lord." Unquote. In a few moments, the procession of the cross around the church will begin as we sing Aios o Theos, Aios Isiros, Aios o Thanatos, Eleison Imas. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. According to the prophet Isaiah, the angels in heaven continually sing this praise of him to God. The hymn is a sign of our presence in heaven and God's presence among us here today. For we praise God together with his angels. The cross is a symbol of Christ's unfailing love for us. The Gospel of John states, and I quote, 316, God so loved the world that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have life eternal. St. Paul tells us the language of the cross, the power of God is the power of God by which we are saved. The cross has the power to destroy sin and death and to lead us to our personal spiritual resurrection and new life in Christ. The procession around the entire church indicates the universal significance of the cross. Salvation by Christ's crucifixion is for all people. The procession is a sign that Christ is still among us. He tells us, you can condemn me. You can ridicule me. You can beat me. You can bruise me. You can even murder me. But I still love you. I still come to you. I still give myself for you. Today, let us prayerfully experience in our heart Christ's love for during this procession of the Holy Cross around the church. I'm going to ask you now to please kneel as a sign of respect as the cross is carried around the church.
to stand at this time. And we will hear Sophia Orthi, Wisdom Arise, is a call to attention, to deeper concentration, and to more openness to God. After the call to attention, we will sing the hymn of Holy Cross, Save, O Lord, your people, and bless your inheritance. Grant victory to our leaders against the attacks of the enemies, and protect your people by your cross. Your people, your inheritance. We are God's people. We are God's inheritance. Because through faith, we accept Christ as our Lord, and we belong to him. Through Christ's cross, we have inherited his treasure as children do from their father. We have received his last will and testament through his word, the New Testament. We are inheritors of his estate, his kingdom. Through worship, we already partake of his kingdom. Sophia Orthi. Sophia Orthi. So so in Kiri Ton Lan So Kerloison Tingri Ronomian So Nikasis Vasilesi his angels, we are now invited to venerate his cross. Our sins are nailed to the cross. They are forgiven by repentance and Christ's love. In Christ, we are victorious over evil, and we return to paradise again to taste eternal life. Now we will kneel before the cross and contemplate the mystery of Christ's unselfish love for us. As, we've, as we sing, we venerate your cross, O Master, and we glorify your holy resurrection. We venerate your Christ, O cross, O Christ, and your holy resurrection. We praise and glorify you, Don Stavro. St. Helen was searching for the cross of Christ in Jerusalem, she was told that it could be found in a huge garbage dump. 
She didn't know where to begin the excavation, but she noticed in one area there was of the garbage dump, there was a sweet aroma coming from this area. Ironically enough, amid the garbage and waste, she found beautiful flowers and basil plants. It was at that place that St. Helen began the excavation and found the cross of Christ. Since St. Helen found the cross among flowers, today we offer flowers to God, which he accepts from us, blesses them, and returns them to us. These flowers now take on a new nature. They convey God's blessings upon each of us. The fragrance of the flowers represents the sweetness of salvation that the cross has brought to us. We take them home to remind us that we experience the living presence of Christ among us today. We take them home to strengthen our resolve to continue on the path of Lent that leads to Holy Week and Easter. Let us proclaim Christ's presence among us on this special feast day. I will say Christ is among us and you will respond, he is and shall always be. Christ is among us. To him be glory now and forever and to the ages of ages, amen. With the cross set before us, we now, out of reverence and love, approach to receive the body and blood of Christ. As the communion hebs are being led here, we ask you to take out your communion hymn so you can follow along. And also for the Sunday church school children during the hymns to please come to the center and line up so that we can prepare ourselves. We will have five chalices this morning. May God bless us all. Please stand for the prayers. I All together, I believe and confess, Lord, that you are truly the Christ, the Son of the living God, who came to the world to save sinners, of whom I am the first. I also believe that this is truly your pure body, and this is truly your precious blood. Therefore, I pray to you, have mercy upon me and forgive my transgressions, voluntary and involuntary, in word and deed, known and unknown. And make me worthy, without condemnation, to partake of your pure mysteries for the forgiveness of sins and for life eternal. Amen. How shall I, who am unworthy, enter into the splendor of your saints? If I dare to enter the bridal chamber, my clothing will accuse me, since it is not a wedding garment, and being bound up, I shall be cast out by the angels. In your love, Lord, cleanse my soul and save me. Loving Master, Lord Jesus Christ, my God, let not these holy gifts be to my condemnation because of my unworthiness, but for the cleansing and sanctification of soul and body and the pledge of the future life and kingdom. It is good for me to cling to God and to place in him the hope of my salvation. Receive me today, Son of God, as a partaker of your mystical supper. I will not betray your mysteries to your enemies, nor give you a kiss as did Judas, but as the thief, I confess you, Remember me, Lord, in your kingdom. Meta povo teo pis teos que gapis proserfete. With the fear of God, love and faith, come forward. Esi mi o thi efimas do
O Lord, the light of your face was stamped upon us. gave a sign to those to fear you so they may flee from the face of the bow. Let the light of your face shine on us. Let the light of your face shine You gave an inheritance to, to those who fear your name, O oh Lord. salvation of our God. Let the light of your face shine on us. Let the light of your face shine King before the ages, he works salvation in the midst of the earth. be exalted among the nations, I will be exalted in the earth. Yeah. 
the mysteries of Christ. Let us worthily give thanks to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Having prayed for a perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless day, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life unto Christ. Our God, to you, our Lord. We thank you, Lord our God, for the communion of your holy, most pure, immortal, and heavenly mysteries, your precious body and blood, which you have granted us for the benefit, sanctification, and healing of our souls and bodies. <coughs> Grant, Master of all, that the communion of your holy body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ may become for us faith unashamed, love unfeigned, fullness of wisdom, healing of soul and body, repelling of every hostile adversary, observance of your commandments, and an acceptable defense at the dread judgment seat of your Christ. For you are our sanctification, and to you we owe for glory. To the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. In prayer for men, let us depart in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord, bless those who praise you and sanctify those who trust in you. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Protect the whole body of your church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of your house. Glorify them in return by your divine power and do not forsake us who hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to the clergy, to those in public service, to the armed forces and to all your people. For every good and perfect gift is from above, coming from you the Father of lights. And do we give glory, thanksgiving, and worship to the Father and the Son, the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Blessed is the name of the Lord, both now and to the ages. O Anna Makiri, we am Lord Emmanuel, Apotuni, Chaos to Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. May the blessing of the Lord and his mercy come upon you. Through his divine grace and love for us always, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to your God, oh glory to you. May Christ, our true God, who rose from the dead, is a good, loving, and merciful God. Have mercy on us and save us at the intercession of his most pure and holy mother, whose leave-taking of the, the Annunciation we celebrate, the power of the precious and life-giving cross, whose veneration we celebrate today the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, the supplications of the honorable glorious prophet and foreigner John the Baptist, the holy glorious and praise of the apostles, the holy and triumphant martyrs, our holy and God-bearing fathers of St. Mark the Evangelist, the patron saint of our church, of St. Matrona, whose memory we celebrate today and of all the saints. Have mercy upon us and save us, for he is a good God who loves mankind. Through the prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Dios conto na yon paterni mo en kiri Jesu Christe o teos aleison que so son imas. May the holy Trinity protect you all of you. Amen. This 
this is a day that the Lord has made. Let us all rejoice and be glad in it. If I can just say to you all, I love you so much. It's so good to see all of you here today for the veneration of the cross. As we go into the hall, a few things. First of all, you'll come forward and Father Alexander and Father Jim will each have a cross that has a true cross. Each of them has a piece of the Holy Cross in it. You can venerate it. They'll give you one flower. We have enough flowers for about 500 people, so that's pretty much filled here with our Sunday school and our philopticos next door. Also, keep in mind at 12 o'clock, we have our parish council meeting in the conference room, and at 12 o'clock in the multi-purpose room in the hall, we have our homebound ministry meeting. We're talking visitations for those shut-ins. You all know who you are. May God bless you. See you in the hall next door for the liturgy after the liturgy. And may the cross of Christ be that inspiration and that true joy in your life. Amen. One is in the back of the church. And also, please be generous. We're collecting for Nico and Maria as you exit today. May God bless you all. As you're exiting, one more announcement I forgot, but we do have our Holy Week and Pascal donations. If you would like in the hall, you can sign up to offer palms, palms for Palm Sunday, flowers, whatever it may be. It's an opportunity for you to give of yourselves during Holy Week. Thank you very much.